Hey and welcome to Flash University. Today we're going to discuss our Tech90 cable solution and the best methods for removing the outer armor during installation. Before we begin, I want to take a look at the individual parts of the Tech90 cable. There's a PVC outer coating that will need to be removed first so we can access the surrounding armor. Underneath that black outer jacket is the armored jacket. And lastly, you'll find the core cable which provides the individual stranded conductors. Essentially what we're trying to do with the armor is to create a small cut in one of the ribs so we can twist and separate the armor from the internal conductors. The rotary blade of the Rotoflex will create this small cut. Use the large black knob to loosen and tighten the clamping brackets. Ensure the bottom thumb screw extends slightly through the bracket before inserting the cable. Begin by removing about 8 inches of the outer cable jacket surrounding the armor. You'll want to leave about 1 and 5 eighths of an inch of the outer armor in place. Reposition the bracket by loosening the knob a quarter of a turn, then slide the bracket up until the tip of the thumb screw contacts the armor. Then tighten the knob and the thumb screw to securely hold the cable. Once the cable is securely clamped, squeeze the top and bottom housing together and start turning the crank as you continue to squeeze the housing. As the blade begins to spin freely, completely release the top housing and loosen the thumb screw to remove the cable. Now that we have created a cut in one of the armored ribs, we will simply twist them apart to separate the armor. Remove the inner jacket to leave approximately one half of an inch of the jacket exposed. Remove one half of an inch of the insulation from each conductor. As you can see here, the armor is actually wrapped around each one of the armored ribs. This creates flexibility as well as another option for removing the armor from the internal core cable. Using a pair of needle nose pliers, start at one end of the cable and begin to unwind the interlocking armored ribs. When you reach the point that we previously indicated, stop unwinding and use a pair of tin snips to remove the unneeded armor. It is highly recommended to use your needle nose pliers to bend the armor back into place and inspect the armor for any sharp edges or excessive burrs. Hey and thank you for watching this installment of Flash University. Should you have any additional questions, contact technical support at 1-800-821-5825 or visit our website flashtechnology.com for other helpful videos.